Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the bomb rest cyberpunk is having an issue with crashing it is not launching freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen and even black screen which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart so just go over here in the game click on this particular icon go to the power icon over here go for the restart so once restart is done try launch the game and this is what you have to do so once you're done with the simple restart see if the issue is solved or else we'll move to the next step next step is nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file for this we just need to go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here go to the installed file just click on the verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so once as you can see you'll be getting the message that 252 file successfully validated we have to close this and we have to launch the game after trying with the verify integrity of game file still the issue is persisting you can try with launching the game from the installation folder most of us launch the game from steam which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so we need to launch the game from the installation folder so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties go to the installed file and just click on the browse so that will redirect you to the installation folder if you, if you check at the top that is this pc local disk d steam library steam apps common bomb rush cyberpunk now from here this is the installation application so this is the what we have to launch the exe file just launch the game so instead of launching the game from steam and launching the game from installation folder it worked for many of the users so you can try this out as well next one we can do two more steps from the same installation folder that is run the game as an administrator so right click over here and go to the show more option go to properties go to the compatibility now from here we have to click on run this program as an administrator go for ok and launch the game if that is not working you can also try with running the game in the compatibility mode just click over here in the game right click go to show more option properties go to the compatibility click on run this program in compatibility mode you can either set to windows 7 go for apply or windows 7 is not working change this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok so once you're done with this one just close this close this as well and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to make sure the date time region is correct so just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to the time and language go to the date and time make sure the time and time zone should be turned off if it is turned off you have to turn this on and make sure both these things are turned on go back go to the language and region from here you have to make sure that you select the respective geography according to your geography i mean if you are from united states you have to select the united states so just select your country according to your geography once you set this up just close this and we have to go back and we need to try to launch the game next one is all about nothing but we need to do is we just need to uh, launch the game and we have to press alt and tab so we just need to click on the play button the same time you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this worked for many users for the games like remnant ratchet and clank rift apart even for GTA 5 online and very recently nowadays I started playing the games like Back 4 Blood and Left 4 Dead 2. It all worked for them. Even I found this from the Reddit so you can try this out as well. So once afterwards still the issues there you can try deleting the saved game file. So just go to the file explorer over here. Go to documents and now from here you will be able to find the folder. So just delete the folder and keep in mind when you delete it you have to keep in mind that you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine. Just delete it. Afterwards just go over here and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security. So just go over here in the search. We have to go to the control panel. Go to system and security. 
go to windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to find the game so as you can see the bomberish cyberpunk is already added and you have to make sure the private and public hacks should be selected once afterwards you just need to click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to localist t go to steam library go to steam amps go to common now from here we have to find the folder and select this and you have to add it so i'm getting the error because it's already added if the game is not added this is how you can add it once you add this up just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices sometimes our usb ports might be filled with a lot of things for example joystick controllers any other peripherals might be connected so this is one of the main reason why we are having these issues so remove everything from the usb port and once afterwards launch the game after game is successfully launched and if you wanted to connect it back and try to play the game hereafter with the controller just connect it back once the game is successfully launched and that is what we have to do next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search and we have to go to system configuration we have to go to the services we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay so they're going to ask you for restart so you have to exit without restart so those users who are watching this go for a restart and once a restart is done try launching the game next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties go to the install it file no sorry you have to go over here in the general make sure this is turn it off so if it is turn it on you have to turn this off try launch the game even after trying if the issue is still there you can try with giving the commands in the launch option so commands in the launch options are the first one that is dx11 you can try with dx11 and you can try launch the game if dx11 is not working try changing with dx12 and try launch the game so if dx11 will be working or a dx12 might be working either one might be working it did work it for many users so this is an important step you can try this out so once after giving the launch option still you are having the issue with playing the game and you are having all these kind of crashing issue the next one is all about we need to close the overlay application so just go over here in the start right click over here and go to the task manager right now as you can see when you are launching the game there are 52 apps running in the background so this is the reason why most of us having the crashing issue so we need to remove the unwanted things for example revert owner msa afterburner discord is one of the main reason for both overlay and overclocking application and if you find all these things running over here you have to remove it at any cost once you remove it just close this go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on the dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to go to graphics settings search for graphics settings once you search for graphics settings you will be getting this option just click on the browse over here go to this pc go to the game installation folder steam library steam amps go to common now from here we have to go to bomb rush cyberpunk select this one and go for add so once you add the game just click on the option make sure this is high performance this is this will be by default into this let windows decide change this to high performance so you're utilizing the graphics card at the maximum so there will not be any kind of crashing issue just save this close this go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to try with the next one that is we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search type for view advanced system setting go to the advanced button go to settings button once again advanced once again go for change now you have to uncheck this one and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM so we have to go over here we need a calculator so just type your RAM 32 GB is my RAM so you have to type your RAM multiply with 1024 that brings you this and multiply with 1.5 so that is 49152 so copy this and paste it next one is nothing but you have to multiply 32 GB into 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3 
that brings you 98304 and we have to paste it once you set this up you just need to go for ok do a restart it is not mandatory try with the restart and after try launching the game next one even after setting this up most probably the issue has to be work it and still the issue is there you can try with the next one that is updating the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd so the nvidia users can go over here find the details like which one your product is you can find the product series so that is series we can find the product operating system so i am on windows 11 and you have to go for a start search when you go for start search you'll be getting the latest released versions over here now 536.99 is the latest released version of the graphics card which is released on august 8 2023 so you need to download this install restart as a mandatory if you go to the amd just go over here in the amd over here and you have to select everything and go for submit and now you have to download windows 11 if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can download this one restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one if you're on the uh, you can also try with installing the microsoft visual c plus plus it worked for many users so i'll be providing link so just go over here if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one once you download this one you can try installing and restarting the computer and that will be working fine for you guys as well last and the least one is all about nothing but we have to update the window so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings we have to go to windows update just update your windows so if any updates are there just update the windows once afterwards just go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to uninstall and reinstall the game for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer and we have to go to this pc and we have to uninstall the game so if the game is already in c try installing it either on d or e if the game is already in d try installing it back on c or e you should not be installing the game from a disk which uninstalled and reinstalling it back you should be definitely changing the position so these are the possible workaround and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye